Well, hi, Pat. I got an email from you saying where was the review where I was talking about stripes on the watermelon. So I sent you to that, and I imagine you'll be a adjusting this drawing and reposting them. You know, uh, in addition to the stripes, I want you to think about mm, the values used here, and could they be more dramatic? I'd like you to compare what you've got so far with the assignment to example on top. Can you push the values that might require that you squint? It might require that you compare the still life to a value scale. Um, it, it might be that it would be helpful to adjust the lighting on the still life so that the light and shadows appear more dramatic. Well, David F., there's a lot to like in this drawing, and it's come quite a ways since the draft. Um, it looks as though it's in graphite and that you've been using the frottage method, the rubbing method, to create some of the textures seen here. You know, with um, with the graphite drawing, you really got to push hard to get the full array of values. And it looks to me like you might have a lit candle here. Is there any way that you could darken um, the composition, maybe lower the lights in the room? Perhaps that backdrop should be dark in order for us to see how the candle illuminates. Um, I was showing George de la Tour to someone. Don't know if that's someone in your class. I'm going to see if I can get that link to you, too. Okay, Sean, you know, I think it was a good idea to remove that box because it really didn't seem to be fitting in there. I see you've been working on the footprint of the cup, yet I'm still not persuaded that there's room enough for that to fit so close to the stapler. And also, I think the outer edges of the opening at the top need to be less pointy. Hmm. I really wish that we saw some value behind the cup and stapler there on mm, what must be the wall. And should that horizon line be so dark? Hi, LaShawn. I see you adjusted the diagonal for the edge of the table. Actually, I thought it was going to go more diagonal versus more vertical. Well, this is looking good. Um, oh, pardon me. This horizontal line, I meant to put it up there at the table edge at the top. This is because I wanted you to check and see if that is the right spot, if that is where you see it in relation to the height of the bottle. Um, let's see. Um, I'm wondering about the little box. Given the perspective for the other things, are we seeing that little box from the front only? If there's a small, I think it's a candle holder to the right, and we see the top of that, wouldn't we also see the top of the box? Or if we are seeing the top of the box, does it need to be um, in perspective? Craig, a lovely drawing here with uh, a wide variety of values. Curiously, um, everything seems sort of miniature in scale. Now, why is that? It must be the perspective of the boots, maybe, and the size of the opening where you slip your foot into. If that were more gaping, it might seem as though um, things were larger in scale somehow. Um, uh, a suggestion, maybe crop this, try it first in Photoshop, uh, you know, maybe get rid of some of the extra space in front. You know, looking at Becky's drawing here, I would like to suggest to a few of you that use of a ruler can be beneficial. I know Dorena has discouraged this. However, um, I like to use a straight edge in my work. Usually I'm using um, a little piece of plastic to either paint straight lines against or um, draw against. You know, so it's not about measuring, rather, it's about getting the line down straight and in an authoritative manner. Joshua, what a challenge you've set up for yourself. There are quite a few objects in this still life. You know, make sure that the perspective in everything is jiving with everything else. How about even that horizon line? Be sure it's straight. Use the ruler if you need to. Um, I like to see a vertical axis for the lamp face. The lamp seems to be listing a little bit to the right. Hi, Brittany. I can see you're revising your composition. You've added a box. Now, I want to show you what I showed Katie in drafts. Take a look at how mm, the sides of your box uh, that are parallel in life should probably be more or less parallel in your drawing, too. And you have to ensure that 
the rearmost edges don't appear to look longer than the near ones. Margie, yesterday I was writing to another student and suggesting that using a little bit of overlap in the arrangement of the subjects can create a sense of depth, right? When something's overlapped, we know it must be behind. So uh, if you find a chance to do that in this drawing, please do. I want you to take a look at what I've been showing to uh, Sean and also Becky in terms of drawing cylinders. So this drawing is really lovely. Um, I'm wondering about the control box, however. If it is a box with 90 degree corners, maybe the perspective is just a little extreme compared to the other objects portrayed here, in which case I would suggest that you play with the locations of your vanishing points, perhaps putting them further away from the box itself. A um, couple other things. With the fin that's nearest to the... Um, box there, sort of toward the bottom, could the shadow it casts at its point be stronger? Or check the values there. And then somehow I'm feeling it'd be nice to have a little more punch or contrast in the rightmost zone of the composition. Hi Colt, it appears to me that you're drawing in charcoal. Well, applause. I think that charcoal is a great medium. If you work on a small scale, sometimes it's a little touchy though, so I'd encourage you to get out your kneaded eraser, for example, or a little eraser on the end of a pencil to help you sculpt the shape. You know, drawing is as much about putting the mark down as it is about shaping the um, negative spaces, right? So I wanted to show you this earlier work of Joe's. It's also nice to compare it to what Joe's doing today. And then also look at this earlier drawing of your own. And I'm asking you to up the ante and really give us something sensational with this final project. Remember, it's worth double what most other assignments are worth.